video, we're going to be learning about the dollar sign utility functions from the Chrome developer tools. So let's get started and open the dev tools and we'll clear the console here. Uh, so the first dollar sign function we have is a jQuery style alias for document query selector. So I can put plop any query that I want right in here and it will search the DOM for it and find that element for me. So this is kind of handy if you want to select a particular element. Let's do body. And then you want to, you know, find inner HTML or something like that. That'd be a crazy call because it's a big body or something like that, but you have direct access to that element with the dollar sign function. Um, the next dollar sign utility function we have is the double dollar sign. And this is an alias for document query selector all. Uh, so let's find a good query. Um, let's say I want to find, look, take a look at all these movies. I've got this franchise media list class. So let me just grab that and plop that into my query selector. So it's class. And then I'm going to grab all of the list items inside of it. And you can see this returns an array of all of those nodes that I could separately reference. Now, the only difference this has from document query selector, query selector all is that it returns an array, whereas the document query selector all returns a node list. And so this is really helpful because oftentimes when you query with query selector all, you get this node list, but it only has some, it's only array like, so there are only some array functions. And so oftentimes you'll need to uh, spread the node list into a proper array. So you can use things like map. Um, whereas when you use the uh, double dollar sign, you already have an array that you can work with. So maybe I could do double dollar sign and then map for each item we'll return the item dot inner text cool and so I automatically just went from my query to mapping nice and quick um, there's also a dollar sign X if you want to uh, handle X paths um, that's not something I've ever done before but it's it's there available to you if that's useful um, the next uh, dollar sign function, or this is more of just a reference that we have is uh, dollar sign underscore. And this refers to the last value that was um, logged to the console. So in this case, it's this array that we created here. I can now access that again and then maybe do another operation on it. So maybe I'd want to map a second time and this time, um, I don't know, maybe do item trim start or something like that because I can see it as a trailing um, space. Maybe that'd be helpful when I'm processing the data. Cool. So with this dollar sign underscore, I can quickly reference things rather than having to try and keep variables in scope or anything like that. That can be pretty handy. Uh, now the next three dollar sign references we have are actually numbered. Um, so let me, I'm going to use this element selector here. And I'm going to look at the first movie, the fellowship of the ring. So now I have this Dom selected and I can go down to the console and with dollar zero, I now have a reference to that element, which is pretty handy. Um, and so once again, maybe I could grab the inner text of it or something like that. Cool. We can see we've got the fellowship of the ring. Now, if I select another Dom element, so let's, let me click on the second one, the two towers. Now my dollar sign zero refers to that one refers to the two towers. You can see it there. Um, and now I have a dollar sign one, let me just replace that it refers to the previous reference. So let's illustrate this a little bit further. As I select more and more of these, I'm going through and I'm clicking them. I can go and reference them with dollar sign zero being the last one that you looked at. And then dollar sign one is the second to last one. Then dollar sign two is the one before that, three before that, four before that. So you can kind of like go back in time through this record of uh, DOM elements that you've selected with the dollar sign number and it goes for um, zero through four. So like dollar sign five is nothing. Um, honestly, I get kind of confused after dollar sign one, especially because the references are changing, but it might be helpful for you to have that record of elements that were selected when you're doing your console scripting. Cool. So those are all the dollar sign uh, functions and utilities that Chrome developer tools. We have dollar, which is a query selector, dollar dollar, which is query selector all, where it um, returns an array. And then we have dollar X for X paths, uh, dollar underscore is a reference to the previous value in the console. And then we have dollar sign zero, one, two, three, and four, which return of any um, DOM elements that you've previous, previously selected. Cool. I hope that's helpful. Um,
yeah, see you in the next video.